Hello everybody, today we're going to learn how to make this visual. It was totally inspired by Pet Studio and my goal was try to achieve this with Flyflow, so that's what you're going to learn today. This is my whole setup for more experienced Flyflowers. This is enough to understand what's going on, but I go step by step for every level of you. For the light, I just put a V-Ray light on the top, very simple render. I create this bench, I will show how I made it, quite simple. That's the thing, everything is simple, but once you put together with some harmony, then it gets pleasing visual. So, let's start it. Let's start with Typhlow, of course. So, we are all lazy, I mean efficient, so let's do in this way. Create a preset type flow icon, rotate it 90 degrees, 50 by 25. That's the type flow preset. Let's change the shape to sphere. Let's give it 50% variation, 350 size. Let's remove the speed along icon, add physics. Why I'm doing that? Because the physics will help when the one ball collide with the next one. Let's see here, it happened right now, like turn off. So they intersect, see when they get together. But when we turn on physics, the balls will hit each other, so it's more realistic. That's why. Next, next, we're gonna add a force. So press Tab, Force, double click, and now we're gonna add a wind. We can either go here, click here, go to type flow, and put a wind, or here we press X and write tie wind. So here we have it. In tie wind, we're gonna change it to spherical. Put it kind of behind here. And we're gonna pick this force. In tie wind, we're going to change these settings. Let's add to strength 0 0.1, the scale 0 0.5, and the grain 0 0.1. You know what? Let's add already spline so we can see exactly what they are doing. Spline path, let's put down there, and trajectories create new, so we can already visualize the path they are doing. And then it's all about change the settings of uh, the force, of the wind here, and also the position will influence, so each setup will be different. So for your setup, you play with the settings that Please your audience or your customer. With that said, it's quite basic already. That's what's happening there. For the tie spline, let's enable it. In tie spline, we go to here in trajectory spline, you're going to add. Like in the original video, it never ends, but I like this effect when it's just a trail behind. And it's delete after a while. Let's put it very short. In tie spline measure, we add curve. Here you can click, left click, reset, and change the shape. Or you can manually also change it, of course. We need add now collision. Now it's 
hitting down the ground and passing through. So it's as simple as coming here at collision or press tab, collision and edit. In collision, you can add ground collision, enable ground collider. So now it's hitting back. That's the basic setup. Now let's add the visual. I will turn off for now the type flow. We are already done with it. If you came here to know how to make this, that's it. But I will continue to make the scenario with from 3D modeling in 3D Studio Max. Let's go for it. Turn off now. But we have to come back later because we need to enable collision with the boxes, with the chairs, and so on. So stay tuned anyway. Okay, so for the box, I create a box. Edit poly, this front face. back face and I create a shell let's bring the flow back and see that's passing through the box so in collision let's add the box by the way in collision good that you stayed here because you need to bounce 100% and the friction 0% so it doesn't stay inside the box. So it just kicked. For the next, we create the wall. Let's create the floor. You don't need to add this floor to collision because it's already using the ground collider. And the wall, but the wall we need to create this hole here. We can create a plane, actually, it will be more simple. Edit poly, bring those lines in line with the box there. And now you delete this face, bring the plane so it's there is a hole in the wall. So we can add our frame. Guys, Fred from the future here. I understand when I was explaining about the frame, the things got really messy. So let me simplify. Create a rectangle for the frame. And on the side, you create what will be the profile. Select your frame. Press X. Sweep. And in Use Custom section, you click Pick and select what is going to be the profile on the side. Here on this profile, convert to a table spline. Add a bunch of vertex. Select the vertex and move to your taste. You notice that it didn't update, so you need to click again the line. And there you have it. The thing is, it's really messy sometimes because by default it's zero. So when you create, you want this face there. So that's the parameter that you want to change, okay? Let's jump back to the normal timeline. Now let's create a bench. Go to the side view. Go to the spline, line, create some shape. I create like this. After you create the line, you go to vertex, fillet. Then you select the whole line. Go to outline. And then you apply extrude. Add some segments. Edit Poly, select those faces, 
how to queue to isolate. Delete everything, select border, in and out, and bridge it. After that, you add chamfer because in life, real life, nothing is so sharp except knives and scaffolds. And it's quite big for the scale. You can adjust this by yourself, of course. Centralize, go to the ground level. For the ceiling, I just copy. It's not really visual, but helps with reflections. And now we go to V-Ray Plane. Add front top. Select the intensity, you can adjust it. And for materials, for this purpose, I will just make simple ones. For the trail, here I select shift and drag, so it just copy. And now for the tie flow, we need to select tie flow to add a second material. Here you put similar to my video, reddish, reflect. Actually, the inner inbox is the same as the wall. For the bench, we can add a aluminum brushed press it, for example. There you go. You just need to work on your own time or your own style with the frame, bench, or anything, but that's it. Let me know what you like most about this tutorial. Check my other videos, and I'm posting daily on shorts and tutorials. I'm trying to keep it up. And thank you for your time. Subscribe and spread the news. Thank you.